CJ Detweiler. CJ England. And Ryan Gaudi. Enjoy the show. Wait, CJ, what are you doing? I'm respirating. Wait, you're trying to obtain oxygen? Well, actually, the main reason for respirating is to obtain energy, or ATP. Oh, yeah. Uh, CJ, breathing to get ATP. What is this, natural science class back in college? You know what? Maybe I do remember that. Yeah, you know what? I do remember. We did a lab about that. We took two test tubes, one with wet or germinating peas, and the other with dry peas. Both the test tubes had cotton balls placed above the peas. And I remember in the first part, we put KOH on top of the cotton because it absorbed all the CO2, which allowed us to observe the oxygen consumption that took place during the process of respiration. Yeah, then we added respirometers to the top of the test tubes and put phenol red inside them to use as an indicator. Then I remember we made two more identical test tubes, but this time without the KOH. That way we could measure the CO2 production as well. Man, I remember we waited forever, but when we recorded our data, we made some pretty cool graphs. And you know what? If I think hard enough, I think I can remember even what they looked like. As you can see from our graphs, the germinating peas continuously consumed oxygen, displaying that they were respirating. The dry peas, on the other hand, did not respirate. The result was the same for the CO2 and O2 production and consumption, but more CO2 was produced than oxygen consumed. You know, CJ, I'm really glad you said that before, because it reminded me of that time we did that aerobic metabolism lab back in college, you know, in natural science. You know, the one where we showed that respiration evolved from photosynthesis to help support the multicellular organisms that required more energy? Yeah, no problem, man. No problem.